So I've had a lot of requests to go through my nail polish collection and go through my favorite brands and so forth. I do tend to prefer the indie brands over some more traditional brands. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna swatch the collection and let's start. So this is where I'm filming today. You can see we've got some natural light coming in and these are the containers that I use to store my nail polish. So I have quite a few of them <laughs> and uh, they are dual sided. So that's one of the things I really like about them because they do minimize space, but yet they are translucent. So you can see through them. They do come, I've seen them in like a translucent blue and things like that, but I like just the, the clear. So these on this last row here, you can actually move these so you can have like really short or really long, help you store like utensils and things if you use any of those. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna start off with ILNP and I'm gonna go by brand. I've got some of them set out. I still have more in the containers. So this is gonna be pretty extensive. We're gonna go ahead and I'll be swatching certain ones on my nails so you can really kind of see what the formula is like, but then we'll be doing color swatches on this, uh, you know, just this white paper here. So one other thing I want to share with you is nail polish remover. I like to use the Zoya Remove Plus. Now this is the bottle for that, but inside I just have a Q-Tex nail remover. It was on sale at Target. So I just added that to the bottle, but I love this packaging here because you can turn this, you know, to open and close it, and then you can just press it down to dispense it. So instead of using like, um, you know, cotton balls or anything. I use old socks. So, you know, you get a, a sock with a hole in it and then that pair is kind of ruined. So I use them to remove nail polish and you can get many uses out of them before you have to throw them away. So let's go ahead and we're gonna start off with ILMP. Okay, so we're gonna start off with these. And these, you can see they're ILMP. They don't have any shimmer or dual chrome or anything. I believe this was like their neon collection. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch these. This pink shade here is called Two Piece. And this is the older bottle. You can tell it's the older bottle by the way the logo is. Let me just show you real quickly what the newer one looks like. This is the new logo. So you can see the difference in the logo on the new versus the old bottle. All right, so this one here is Two Piece. So let me just show you how it goes on this here. Obviously this was a pretty thick coat and you can see how much coverage you get with one layer. Let me show you a thinner coat here. So with a polish like this, I mean, I personally would recommend two coats. It is gonna be self-leveling. You can see it hasn't quite self-leveled yet. The ILNP polishes, one of the reasons I like them is that you do get quite a bit of long wear with these. So they last pretty well without chipping. And obviously they're gonna work better with a base coat and a top coat. But I just wanted to share with you how these are. So you can see one thin layer here versus a thicker layer. And let's go ahead and we'll just add another layer to the thin one so you can see that. And you can see that this these particular shades in this neon collection, they get a bit matte when they dry. You can see how, how matte that is. It's not like a true matte polish, but it's not gonna be super shiny. So you do kind of want to have a top coat with this. Let's go ahead and swatch these. All right, so over here, this is the pink in two piece. And then we have kind of this bright coral, which is called Summer. And you can see that it is a nice coral shade here. And sorry, we just got a cloud there, but um, this is why I typically don't film completely natural light. You have no control. Uh, and then this here is called Sunny Days. And you can see it's kind of like a melon orange. So definitely a really pretty summery orange shade, but it's not gonna be a really bright orange. Then we have Playlist. And playlist is kind of your neon yellow green. And I tell you, you know, I wore this under a black light for a birthday party, awesome shade. Then we have kind of a mint green called Bottoms Up. And you can see it's a little bit bright for a true mint. I love this shade. I think it's a really beautiful green shade. And then 
this purple one here is called High Dive. And let's see, can we squeeze it? We'll squeeze that in right there. So that's High Dive. So those are going to be kind of your neon cream formula. And one more time, this would be the one thick coat. And you can see how it dries kind of matte versus the two thinner coats on there. So you will get kind of a bit of a matte finish there. Next, I wanted to move on to some of my all-time favorite shades from ILMP. So this one here that I'm holding, this one is called Eclipse. Now you can see on their website when you look these up, these are their multi-chromes. And they have some with hollow and some without. I chose Eclipse to be without hollow. And let me go ahead and show you this color. So. I mean, you can see putting it on, I'm just gonna do these kind of messy, <laughs> but um, you can see it looks kind of grayish and you see like a little bit of red shimmer. But as you build that up, it gets this really beautiful kind of, uh, you know, it, you get this like red and green and gold and gray. We'll let's add a bit more of this. And obviously this would look better if I weighed it between coats, but I absolutely love this color here. And it's one of my favorite ILMP polishes. I mean, look at that. And some of the other ones I really love here. Well, this one here is Hush. And this is an example of one of the multi-chromes with hollow in it. You can see putting these on, they're very, very smooth. Hush is one that I like a lot too. So you've got some hollow color in here. And this is gonna be more of a subtle uh, multi-chrome. So you've got some blue, some purple, even like a little bit of like a teal green in here. You can see kind of in the bottle. And then, but I feel like it's, um, it's, it's a more subtle hollow. We definitely have some that are gonna be a bit more in your face. Like this one here. Um, this is Biofringence, and again, I know this one uh, comes in a hollow as well. I actually, I love this one so much, I almost bought it in hollow in addition, but I just think it's such a great shade. This is going to be like more blue, purple, and when you build this up, you get a really, you know, you get quite a bit of color shift with this one here. And I wish these things would just dry a bit faster so we could really load that up, but really love this color. So let me swatch these here on the paper so you can see all of these shades. Okay, we're gonna start off with Eclipse and you can see just swatching the Eclipse shade here. Oh, that's kind of hard to see, I think, with the, the way the light is. Let me shift that. All right, so you can see that Eclipse, it looks kind of gray going on, but as you build that up, you're really gonna get more of this like burgundy shade. I mean, look at it on my nail now. You can see it has you know, kind of leveled out a bit. It looks more like red with a gray undertone. You get kind of green and gold in there. And then this one here was Hush, which is the hollow. Let's go ahead and look at that one. And this is gonna be more of like a lighter blue, purple, little teal. And it's gonna be more, it's definitely lighter in pigmentation, like color wise, it's gonna be a softer shade. Then let's move on to the Biofringence. And this is one of my most worn. Absolutely love that shade. Again, it looks like it has more of that gray base, but when you put that on, it's really gonna stay pretty true to the bottle. I mean, look at the difference there. You can see what you see in the bottle is pretty accurate to what you're gonna get. All right, so let's look at some others. We have Shockwave, and Shockwave is actually gonna be pretty similar to the Biofringence, but it has more of this like brighter blue shade. You can see the difference between the two in the bottles. So this is Shockwave. You can see it's definitely got a bit more of that, you know, more cobalt blue. Sorry, I hit the camera there. And then here, let's look at this one too. This is Serene or Siren. Um, not sure exactly what which way they want to pronounce that, but you can see this one has a bit more purple. It's a little bit lighter. This is gonna be more like purple and teal. This one here is gonna be closer to Hush. Now you can see though that the Hush, again, this is a holographic version. 
This has a bit more uh, minty green in it compared to the Siren, which has a bit more of that like violet purple. This one here is called Peace. And this one's gonna have a bit more pink in here. So you can see this is gonna be more of like your magenta shade. And again, you've got a little bit of like green and so forth in there. Moving on, we have the shade Poison. And you know, it can kind of make you think of Eclipse at first. You can see Eclipse is more like that burgundy, whereas we have more of like a burnt orange with a touch of red in Poison. So let's swatch this one on the paper here. Look at that. You can see like kind of that coppery golden shimmer. This one here you can see is going to be very shimmery. This is called Hallucinate. So it's a little bit um, different. I don't know if they actually even classify this in the multi-chrome section, but this is really more of a slight multi-chrome with lots and lots of kind of red pink shimmer in there. So the shade that's base, the base shade here is gonna be more of like a lavender blue, but then you just have tons and tons of this holographic glitter in there that's gonna be a bit more red. Let me go ahead and put this one on the nails. This, if I remember correctly, this was part of the Halloween collection. And I just think it's a really pretty shade. So here it is. Look at that. So you can see you've got a really pretty lavender purple blue base. And then all the shimmer is going to be like red and copper. Next, this one here is Masquerade. And this is going to be a holographic version. One of the ways you can tell when you are looking at your bottles is that it actually has an H in parentheses at the bottom. So if you see that, sometimes they don't have it written on the website totally. They just have the H. So that just means it's going to have some shimmer in it. Moving on, we have Reminisce. And this is another one of the ones that I use the most. It's just a really beautiful green with some teal. And I love this shade. All right, so we've got a couple more. This one here is Venom. And you can see this is gonna be in the newer packaging here. So um, this is gonna be a newer green and it does kind of remind me of Reminisce a bit, but it's going to be more of your Christmas green. It's a little bit brighter and deeper. And then last up, we have Salem. I mean, look at this. You see how it's like the red, green, purple. This is such a, such a pretty color. And again, I think this was the Halloween collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on the nails as well, just so you can kind of see that. So let's layer that up a bit. Definitely need more layers on this one. Um, but you can see that this is going to have a really beautiful kind of shimmer to it. The base though, look at the way that the base changes. You have purple and green and a little bit of gray and you can see there's some like magenta pink shimmer in there. So I just think it's a really, really pretty color, really unique. Moving on, this is Stardust and this is a holographic version. If you're looking for a subtle shimmer with a little bit of duochrome, this is a really great one. This and Hush are both gonna be pretty subtle. You can see that this has some gray, a little lavender, a little teal, but this is primarily a soft teal. So you can see the color on the brush. Um, that's pretty true to the nails. Whereas the Hush shade is gonna be more lavender, this is gonna be more teal, really pretty. I also wanted to bring out this one. This one is Sea Glass. And this is just gonna be a shimmer shade. We're out of kind of the multi-chromes here, but this is a, this is from the summer. I think this is such a great bright blue. I mean, look at that bright blue. And it's just such a pretty color. And you've got some shimmer. It really does look this bright on the nails. With this one, I would say two to three coats to get full impact. One of the great things about the ILMP shimmers is for the most part, even when you put you know several layers on, you don't feel grittiness. You know, sometimes you've got those glittery nail polishes and they just feel really rough to touch. 
even sometimes when you have uh, your um, top coat on, you can still feel it through that. And that's not really true with the majority of ILMP. This shade here is called Interstellar. This is one I wore a lot when it came out. I really like this one. It's gonna be more of a soft, dusty midnight blue with you know, kind of a multi-chromatic shimmer. And this is one that I really like. I always wear this one around uh, St. Patrick's Day because it is called Lucky One. But if you are looking for a nice kind of emerald green, like a brighter emerald with lots and lots of shimmer, this is your shade. I mean, this is stunning. I love this shade. You can see how much sparkle is in here. All right, so let's focus on just a few more favorites and then I will just show you swatches of the rest of them because we definitely have a lot. This one here is Utopia. And this is another one that I use quite a bit. It's kind of like your soft, pale lavender, a little bit of gray, and then it's more of, it's a multi-chrome uh, glitter in here, but it's gonna be a little bit more of like a warm gold mixed in there. And I just love that contrast. Another one I really like here, this is Skyscraper, and you can see this one is kind of like the blue version of Utopia. And I just think it's a really pretty blue. Really love this color. Sail Away is one that I get a lot of compliments on. I love to use this when we have bright sunny days because you really get that beautiful rainbow hollow effect with that. So I just think it's a really pretty soft aqua teal shade. This is Park Place and this is gonna be more of a gray, again, with a little bit of uh, multi-chromatic rainbow shimmer to it but I think all of these shades here go so nicely together. This is Candlelight. It's almost like a more subdued version of Eclipse as your base with a lot of hollow in here. And it actually looks a bit more, with all of, when you put this on your nails, I feel like I see more brown than gray because of the way the shimmer is, but we really do have more of that gray base uh, like we do with Eclipse. Another one, this one is Penthouse. If I remember, maybe this was like a New York collection or something like that, but a city collection. This is gonna be a bit more of like a dusty plum base with a little bit of burgundy in there. And again, you've got that multi-chromatic shimmer, that really pretty hollow. And this one here is Deja Vu, which I also wear a lot. And let me put that one right here so you can see that you still have kind of that silvery blue effect here, which uh, you know, it's really pretty. This was Utopia. So we've got Utopia here versus Deja Vu. You can see that they are going to be fairly similar, but if you want more shimmer, you want to go with Utopia. Whereas if you want just a little bit of a holographic effect, Deja Vu is a good choice. So those are some of my favorites from ILMP and you can see how these have kind of dried. They dry very pretty quickly. They last really well. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the rest of these shades and share those with you before we move on to the next brand. All right, so I have a little uh, malfunction with the, <laughs> with the on button apparently, <laughs> but this one here is the shade Smitten. This is kind of like a great rose gold. You have kind of a rose shade here with some golden shimmer. Then we have these two toppers. I wanna show you these. So this one here on the right, this is Supernova, and this is Paradox, which is a hollow, but they're really both toppers. So we have Supernova here, and um, then Paradox here. You can see they're actually very, very similar to each other. They are really nice toppers. You can pile them on enough to use them as an actual nail color. This one here, that's kind of this olivey green with a little bit of brown and some rainbow shimmer. This is Caesar, and that's actually a really beautiful shade. This one here at the top, that's called Carbon. And I have to say, when I ordered this, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more charcoal gray, but you can see it's a little bit of a lavender gray with a, some silver shimmer in there. And then moving on down here at the bottom, so this one here that looks purple, that's this shade here, and that is called Jinx. So you can see this has a bit of flakiness. Now in the swatch here, you can see it's purple base, kind of like um, pink flakiness on there, and it looks kind of small. If you wanna see that flakiness, you really do wanna layer on more layers. Then this kind of, um, kind of like magenta shade here, this is called Kings and Queens. And it's a really beautiful, kind of like a raspberry magenta shade, 
with some rainbow hollow, and it looks incredible under the sunlight. Highly recommend that. All right, so these up here we already covered, so let's look down here. This one here is Treehouse, and I think this is a great shade. You've got kind of like the brown of the bark mixed with the green of the tree with a little bit of shimmer, really beautiful. Then we have this, which is called the Lighthouse, and you can see this is gonna be a nice shimmery, silvery shade here, definitely a ton of sparkle. It's kind of like a true silver there. Moving on over here, we have Broadway, and this is going to be kind of a, you know, burgundy with a hollow shimmer. This is actually one that is a favorite. I should have included this with my favorites. It's called Arctic Lights, and it's kind of your pale icy blue with silver shimmer. This one is going to be a very pale gray with copper shimmer. This is called Tombstone. It's pretty subtle. And then we have Carrie, which is your blood red with, it's more of a burgundy red with um, bright red shimmer. This kind of pale orange here, this is called Uptown. You can see this is gonna have, it's kind of like a dusty pumpkin with a hollow shimmer. Over here, this is called Happily Ever After. Super shiny and sparkly. This is kind of a pale um, dusty lavender with silver shimmer really pretty shade. Then this is brownstone, which actually has a bit more red in it than you might expect. And then the shade right above it is called Evermore, which is going to be a more pink version. So Evermore brownstone. All right, let's move on. This one here is called Glowing Bubbles. This is a really pretty shade, particularly in the summer. I wore this on vacation this summer because you've got this beautiful you know, kind of teal blue with rainbow hollow in it. And then we have this one here's Elsa, which is another, you know, kind of a silvery blue. This one though, you have to layer a bit more. I was expecting more blue base to it, but you can see it's really going to be uh, pretty translucent. The hollow on here is really pretty. So the hollow on here is really pretty, but it is a little bit lighter than I was expecting. This one here is Tidal Wave. Oh, I really like this shade here. It is gonna be more of your blue purple base. This is one my daughter got really kind of stuck, but look at that. It's kind of like your periwinkle blue. There is some hollow in here. Really beautiful, beautiful shade. And then we have this one, which is Walking Home. And this is gonna be purple with rainbow shimmer in it. And then, this here is called Hidden Treasure. I really like this one on my toes, actually. Um, it's kind of like your magenta purple with golden shimmer in it. You can see how much shimmer you have. And when you layer that up, I mean, look at the way that the light kind of hits that. Really pretty cool. This one here is called Sugar Plum. And if you're looking for a more subtle shade, this is gonna be a soft, dusty rose with just a little bit of shimmer in there. This one here is called Spellbound, and it looks beautiful on its own, but this is one that also looks really awesome with a black base underneath to make it pop, but it's kind of a dark teal with rainbow shimmer in there. This is Black Magic. Again, another one that looks great with a black base underneath, but it is deep enough that you don't actually need one. This is gonna be black with a rainbow hollow. This is called Charmed, and it's a really pretty kind of purple shade with rainbow hollow, but you can see this is gonna be a dusty purple. You can see I definitely have a type. I tend to go for the purples, blues, and greens. This green here is called Paradise, and it is just a really pretty kind of a teal. It's kind of a brighter teal with emerald shimmer in there, so you get more emerald green with it when you you know, put on multiple layers. This is Mirage. If you love gold um, tones, this is a really pretty one. I love this. It's a little bit of an antique gold, but it's pretty soft. And this one is called Heirloom. And this is more of, you know, you got a little bit more of like a copper champagne vibe with this. Really pretty as well. Moving on, this is called Ariel. And this is kind of like your fiery red 
uh, with pink and orange shimmer. And you can see that's definitely going to be pretty bright and vibrant. It's almost like a hot pink slash red. This one here is called Juliet. And it's a really nice, um, you know, it's not quite rose gold, but it's almost rose gold. I would say it needs just a little bit more pink to be a true rose gold, but it's really close. And it's incredibly shimmery. You can see that the shimmer in there is going to be a rainbow hue. This one is Midnight Kiss. Look at this vibrancy. I mean, it is a bright, vibrant blue. And this it has shimmer in it, but honestly, it's not that evident. So you'll see a little bit when you layer that on, but it's going to be mostly just the blue color. This one is Page, and we have just a really pretty pink with Rainbow Hollow, Lured, and this is going to be a nice glittery teal. So you've got this black base with teal shimmer. So if you put this on top of a black nail polish, it's really cool. It, that's when you, you're really going to see that. On its own, It's um, I prefer it with a base. So this one here is Sandbar. You can see this is going to be a soft, um, kind of like a peachy champagne. This is one that I like multiple layers of, but I it is a little bit on the lighter side. So again, this one's Sandbar. This one here is Eve. I mean, think of New Year's Eve. It's a really pretty... Kind of like purple with disco ball. So, I mean, you can't beat that. This one is high tide. I mean, look at this shimmer here. So let's squeeze that in here. This one is also something that's awesome on top of a black base. But this rainbow shimmer in here just seems to be a bit more vibrant. I mean, it, it seems not necessarily pastel, like they're really bright shades. This one here is guest list. And you can see that's kind of like your, um, more of like a true plum purple grape. We have zero degrees, which is a really pretty blue. And this one has, a, it's shimmery, but it has a little bit more of a metallic vibe in it. And then we have Blueprint. This is a gorgeous shimmery turquoise. Now this one, if you use it in sheer layers, you're getting, it's, it's like all glitter, but you can pile this one up just on its own to get like the most shiny blue. It, it's really incredible. And then this one is called Stain In. You can see you've got a lot of that multi-chromatic goodness here. This is kind of like a purpley pink shade. And moving on, we're almost done with ILMP. This is Nocturnal. You can see this is going to be a, you know, it has a black base, but it's going to be kind of like that deep blue. So you get that black blue with rainbow shimmer. And then let's move on just a few more, four more. Skyline. Look at that. So this, if you're looking for like that black blue shade, this one is my personal favorite of them. Um, so this is your like navy blue with rainbow shimmer to it. I like it a little bit more than the nocturnal shade. This one here is called Jade It. I mean, you can see how much that's sparkling in the camera there. But this is going to be a green, but it's again, it's got that gray black base. So you do want to layer this up and you're going to get that rich, rich shade to it. And you've got that rainbow shimmer in that as well. It's a really pretty shade. Almost done here. This one is Hex. This was from the Halloween collection. This is a pretty cool shade on top of black. Basically, you're gonna, if you put it on top of black, you get all of these like fall flakies. So there's green, there's orange, there's a little red. Really pretty, um, but I do think it needs to be on top of a black base or dark gray. And then last up, we have Park Avenue, which is an ultra shimmery kind of a uh, teal shade here. Let's add a little bit more. And yeah, that is my ILMP collection. So I hope that was helpful. If you're not sure where to start from ILMP, I would definitely recommend going with their shimmery shades or their um, multi-chrome shades. The multi-chromes from them are some of my absolute favorite. And then I also love their holographic shimmers. So those would be my picks uh, formula-wise from ILMP. 
Let's go ahead and move on to another and brand. I just came across a few more ILMPs. peas. This one here is called Trick or Treat. This is a very shimmery orange, you know, obviously for the pumpkin. Look at that ultra glitter. So really beautiful shade, it's super sparkly. Then we have this one here, which is a sparkling white. This is Snow Angel. This is really nice, uh, you know, for the winter, but it is not going to have a strong white base to it. It's not like you took like a white cream and added sparkle. It's definitely a lot more translucent than that. And then this one here is Grand Entrance. You can see it has a little bit of that Eclipse vibe to it, but it's a little bit more brown in the bottle. And you can see here, it definitely looks a bit more gray on the nails. Let me go ahead and show you this one on the nails. So you can see it goes on kind of gray, but it has a bit of a burgundy brown hue to it and you have silver shimmer. And then this one here is Mega. And this is their Ultra Sparkle, but they also have, they have one that I think is like a little bit even more intense. I forget what that one's called, something like Ultra Mega or something like that. But this is just a super sparkly shade. You can use that as a topper. Let me go ahead and show you that one on my nails. But if you're looking for like an ultra holographic shade, you can, this is, really incredible in the sunlight and you have a lot of sun very very shimmery very sparkly next up we have flora 1761 this is one of my favorites from this brand you can see it is a gorgeous metallic red this is like a true christmas red and they call it amaryllis so that is definitely one of my favorites this brand in general is great if you are looking for, you know, something similar to like your classic Chanel nail polishes. They've got a lot of, you know, cream style nail polishes. Formula is great. And let's go ahead and swatch these. So this here is one of their sparkly ones. Most of their nail polishes do not have shimmer. So you're looking at really like classic nail polish and they have a lot of really beautiful neutral shades, light shades. Um, you know, you've got your deeper shades too, but you're looking at classic creams. So this is Speckled Hellbore. And let's go ahead and take a look at this. You can see that our brush on this is going to be a wide brush. Unlike the ILMP, which was a little bit of a thinner, like traditional brush. So this is going to be the shimmer you see, it's got a lot of sparkle. It's very smooth to the touch. So when it dries, you don't have to worry about it being like super bumpy or rough or anything like that. Now, this one here is going to be more of a metallic finish. This is Hamari Gold. And this is a really pretty metallic soft gold. I really like this one. This is probably out of all the gold polishes I have that do not have shimmer. This is my favorite. And this red, again, this is probably my favorite shade total from a Flora 1761. It is like the perfect red. You can see it is a little bit metallic. You've got a little bit of that, you know, marbleized finish with a little tiny bit of shimmer, but definitely not sparkly like the speckled hellbore. And then this one here, you can see is also going to be a bit marbleized. This is Oleander. And this is a really beautiful, you know, pale pink. You know, if you're thinking of the classic, like Essie uh, ballet pink, this is, this is that, but it is gonna have a little bit of that more marbleized finish. This lovely mint is called Passion Flower and you know, it's just a really pretty soft mint. You can see that this mint definitely has a balance of yellow and green. This one here is Adelaide Lilac. And this is a really pale lilac. So you've got a really beautiful shade here. It is going to be a bit of a lighter lilac shade. And then let's go, let's skip to this purple here. This one here is Wisteria. So let's just see what those two look like together. You can see you definitely get a really nice coat uh, with these polishes. So here's one sheer layer of Wisteria. 
can see our sun is fading, so we're gonna have to finish up more on another day, but you can see two coats of these are sufficient. They dry, again, fairly quickly, uh, great finish. They do have a glossy finish on their own. And we just have two more to look at. This one here is Fanola Tulip, and it's a really nice soft pink. Think like your, you know, almost like a carnation pink, but it's actually gonna be a little bit cooler than your traditional carnation pink. This one here is called Sweet Pea. And this is, uh, you know, I think a classic rosy pink. So those are the Flora 1761. I think these are really great polishes. Again, this one here is actually almost dry to the touch. It's been about three or four minutes since I applied that. And yeah, you know, overall, really, really nice formulas, very classic colors. I think they're a great alternative to Chanel and Dior, Hermes, those types of polishes. These are the Flora 1761. You can see how the colors shine with the light reflection. And just two more, we have Bougainvillea. I never pronounced that correctly, so I'm sorry I butchered that. But you can see this is going to be a nice medium tone, warm pink. And then we have one of my favorite blues. This is Forget Me Not. And it's just a really nice medium tone blue. Look at that. So pretty. Next up, we have KB Shimmer. Now, I haven't tried a lot of their polishes. I, I just have these, and these are all from the same collection. You can see that they are an ultra glittery, ultra sparkly uh, you know, nail polish here. This one here is called Love You Brunches. I have to say, I do like the names here. And, um, you know, I have to say, though, that these, they're not my favorite. I love the way these look. Uh, they are incredibly sparkly, really beautiful. You can see this one here has purple and red you've got a lot of like red sparkle in there but these are ones that get very very glittery and rough so even when i put a top coat on these i need to use you know um multiple layers of the top coat just to make it not so rough this is my favorite this one is novel idea and you can see here you got kind of blue green and purple it's mostly purple and green so that one's a little bit more of a multi-chrome, whereas the first one is really more like a purple base with the pink glitter. This is another one that I really like. This is gonna be a lighter, more muted lavender with some blue, and then we have this reddish pink uh, shimmer in there, and this one is drawn to you. Look at that color. So again, I love the way that these actually look, um, but I do wish that they were a bit smoother. This one is called Of Quartz, and this is gonna be a soft pink with gold shimmer, so more of like your rose gold kind of thing. You can see there's a bit of a green reflect in here. Now you can see I'm getting a lot of mess here. This is lounging around, um, you know, from opening these bottles. Again, it's just a little bit messier. Once you use these, if you, you know, wipe your thing to the side, even if you're not really getting nail polish on the side of the bottle, I still seem to end up getting like, um, you know, some of that dry cracked residue. This one here is another really pretty one. This is, I need you now need like you're needing bread. And, um, yeah, this one, I, I love this color too. This is more of like aqua with, um, some silver shimmer, some emerald shimmer, and there's a little bit of gray and purple in there. Really beautiful shade. This is mask me again. And this is going to be more of like your chartreuse with pink. So uh, I just, I think the colors here are beautiful. If you hear that scratching sound, that is Sadie. <laughs> and she is scratching on the window. She wants to, she sees something outside. So this is self-reflection. And it's a really pretty kind of silver with gold shimmer. I'm going to go ahead and just show you a novel idea on my fingers right now so you can kind of see what that one looks like and you can see we do have a nice wide brush the formula for this though is a bit thick so this is just like one thin layer but you can see it's still a pretty thick formula it dries pretty quickly but 
you know, obviously not as quickly. You can see it kind of clumping up here. You definitely want to like wrap your nails, but I just don't have the best luck with these like thicker polishes with all the glitter. They look great, but again, you're going to have like glitter chunks even when you wrap your nails, there's no way to avoid that. So I feel like they don't last as long because you're gonna get chipping faster with something like this. But look at this color, the green, the purple, the blue, the silver shimmer, absolutely beautiful shade. So I do wear these, just not that frequently. Okay, so now that novel idea has dried, mostly, it's still a little wet. You can see though how rough the surface is. So that's, that's my negative for this brand. Well, for this collection from this brand. Again, I haven't tried any of their more permanent ones. Next, let's take a look at the Gucci nail polishes. So they come in this, you know, it's more unique packaging. I actually really like it. It still fits in the container, so it's pretty long. Uh, I do have the white one as well, but I'm not sure where that is right now. My daughter actually took that to do candy cane nails and I don't know where she put it. But let's go ahead and take a look at these. This Gucci black, I think is a great black because you can see just with one coat how nicely it covers. This is called Crystal Black. And yeah, I think it's a really nice one. Um, so then we have this kind of pale pink. It has a little bit of peach in it. So it's gonna be a warmer tone pink. This is called Ellen Blush. And it's a nice shade, but I have to say, don't wear that one too much. This is Peggy Sunburn, and this is gonna be a bit of an orange. And it's kind of like cantaloupe. You know, it, it actually has a bit more of that melon vibe to it. Then we have their classic red, a goldy red. And this is, this is a nice red. Now, I have to say though, um, you can see as the black is drying, how much more sheer it gets. Let me go ahead and we'll put this one on the nails so you can kind of see how it goes. And we've got one sheer layer going on here. We'll let that dry and then I'll add a second one in a minute. Let's swatch a few more. One of my favorite shades, actually this is probably my favorite of the Gucci shades. This is the more recent pink. This is Vantine Fuchsia. And I just think this is such a great shade for summer. Coverage is great. The wear on these is great. I have to say, I really do like the Gucci nail polish finish. They perform pretty well. And um, then we have Marsha Cobalt. This is probably my second favorite shade. So uh, I love this blue. I mean, it's just such a nice blue. Let's put this one on the nails too. Just so pretty. This one on my thumb. And you can see with some of these shades, you could even just get away with just one coat here. Um, you know, two is definitely gonna be better, but they perform pretty well. And the brush on these, you can see you've got that nice wide brush. And yeah, so you can see the two coat coverage for the black. I think it's nice, it's smooth performance for these is really great and this is only one layer of the cobalt so really nice another one that i really like is this aqua shade i use this one a lot this is dorothy turquoise so this is one of my go-to summer nail polishes i just love this color in general it's it's a soft aqua but it does have a bit of mint in there and then we have miriam mint which is more of your true mint green so this is going to have a bit more yellow in it and it's just a nice soft green there and then we have the this one here which you know is called melinda green it makes me think a little bit more of like that 70s green um <laughs> avocado green so those are the Gucci polishes I have. I, again, I have the white somewhere. The white is a nice white. I actually like the Gucci white, but you do need multiple layers. So, or it can look a bit streaky. So do you think some of them are better than others? But that is probably the white that I use the most. Next we have Starly. 
And I actually don't have too much from them, but I do really like them. So they are a brand I should actually look into more, but you, you've got quite a few different finishes here. These are really nice. So you can see this one here, this is all the same collection, I believe. This one is Blood Moon and you kind of have this deep red with some copper and red shimmer, kind of like a garnet. I mean, look at this. You can just see how that shimmers and shines here. Go ahead, I'll put this one here. Oh, that's way too much polish. I didn't realize there was a glop there. But you can see, I mean, look at that. Look at that sheen there. So really, really beautiful. So this one here is Blood Moon. And then we have Rose Water, which is kind of this magenta pink. And We've got some red shimmer in here. I mean, look at that. You can see how these just shine. They've got such a beautiful sheen to them. This one here looks kind of like chocolate brown with some golden shimmer in it. This is Arcana. And when you put this on, you've got, it's really more of like a brownish maroon. You can see how that, that looks there, but it's really, think of more of like a, yeah, brown and maroon mixed together. But you have more of that maroon base. Next up, we have Hera. And this one here, let me put this one on. This one's a little bit um, more of a duochrome here. And again, you know, I really love duochromes. Um, but you've got this really pretty like purple and blue. You've got some green in there. You can see how that looks in the bottle really really pretty another one that i love is nightshade this is going to be a bit deeper than hera and this one has more of like the purple in here you've, you've got still that purple and teal reflect but the shimmer in here is definitely going to be like a fuchsia pink okay so there we go you can see that and then we have absinthe which again another duochrome this one's going to be green I love this shade here. So here you can see the Hera, you can see the Blood Moon. Let's do a swatch of the Absinthe here. Let's try and do it under the camera. Super messy, but I mean, look at that. So these are really smooth in texture. Uh, performance is great. You can see you can get by with just one layer, but when the light hits it a certain way, I can kind of see through that one a little bit. So I would definitely recommend two coats still. And then last up, we have Amulet, which is gonna be like your silver. So it's just a really classic silver. I feel like so many brands have silvers, but they don't all do like, you know, a lot of them are just like silver glitter or like a silver, I don't know. This is like the perfect silver to me. So this is a great silver. Um, but that is Starly Nails, and I have to say, I think they have really nice formulas. Love the, the texture of these. They're like a traditional polish. They're not too thin, not too thick. They've got the shimmer, yet they're not rough. They're nice and smooth, and you can use one to two coats. Next, we have Hollow Taco. This is another really nice brand. They have a lot of just really great shimmers. That's what I like from them in general, are their shimmers. So let's go ahead and swatch these. All right, so this one here is called Crimson Void. And you can see here, this one does have, you know, kind of your smaller traditional brush for this. You can see it's a skinny brush. So if I move the light away, you can see the color perhaps a little bit better there. Let's see if I can go a little lower too. There we go. And then this one here, um, this is called Dead Petals, and you can see you've got kind of this rainbow hollow in there, and this one has some purple and some red in there. It's gonna be like a red base purple there. So if you like the skinny brush, this is a nice one. I personally prefer the wider brushes, um, so I don't buy as many hollow taco shades as I could. This one here, though, is one of my favorites. Look at this beautiful soft pink. And it's got that rainbow hollow in here. This one is called Pink Fizz. I think that was part of the pastel rainbow collection. And then we have Coral Chaser. Again, just a really pretty, um, you know, kind of more of a peachy coral uh, with some golden shimmer in there. This one here is called Peach Tea. 
And I think this is like a nice peach, but it's a good like neutral peach. There's a little bit of brown in there and it's just, it's a nice shade. So, sorry, I have a little lamp here just to help things a little bit, but you can see, you know, we are in front of the windows. So <laughs> there you go. And then this one here is called Burnt Bridges. This is one of my favorites. You've got kind of this rich brown and you have the silver shimmer in here. Sadie's at my feet if you hear her making noise with the paper. But you can see these go on very smoothly. One to two coats is all you need. I'm not even sure if that was in the frame there, but um, you know, it's a really beautiful shade there. These are just, you know, classic shimmer nail polishes. So, oh, I forgot to swatch on paper. So there's Burnt Bridges. And then moving on, this one here, this one is called Amber Apathy. And the dog is stealing the nail polishes out of the container. Let me grab her. I have to say, I didn't think she could get those out. <laughs> this one here is called Lemon Spritzer. Now you can see it's actually not as lemony as I expected when I bought it. It is yellow, but there is a touch of like that chartreuse in there. So it's not gonna be like a bright lemony yellow, but again, look how smooth this Burnt Bridges is. And this is, one's actually almost dry now. This one is Lost in the Woods. This is one of my favorites. I really like this shade here. Um, it's just your nice kind of like forest green mixed with teal. It's just such a great green. For a lighter green here, this one is called Mint Mojito. Another really nice shade here, but again, the Lost in the Woods there, it's totally a favorite. It's one of my favorite greens of all. Then we have this really pretty blue. Doesn't this look like space dyed blue? Uh, this is called Sunken Secrets. And this is one of my daughter's favorites, but this looks like the nice sky to me. You've got like the perfect blue. You've got some silver shimmer in there. Let me put this one on the nails too. And I just really think this is a, a great blue. Um, you know, we looked at the ILNP ones for like night sky and stuff, but I feel like this is, this one's better. I mean, I just, this color to me is like perfect. This one here is a purpley blue. This is called Midnight Spark. You can see this one here has a ton of shimmer. This one has more shimmer in it. You can see um, swatching it. It's a little bit more sheer in the color and your shimmer in here is going to be silver and blue for the most part. You can see it going on. It's gonna definitely be a, a lot more sheer. This one, I love the way this looks, um, but I still prefer the classics like Sunken Secrets here. So this one though, I love how we have kind of that rainbow shimmer in there. I think it's really pretty. And yet it's still not your typical um, hollow. You've got different sizes in there. This one here is kind of a periwinkle. This is called Sparkling Water. And it's a really nice blue here. I like this one a lot during the summer. And you can see there is a touch of gray in there. All right, we got two left. This one here is called Lavender Syrup. And no surprise that this is one that I love. This is basically gonna be a dusty lavender with rainbow shimmer in there. And then last up, this is Violet Nightmares. And this is gonna be your purple version of Sunken Secrets. And you can see it's kind of a nice, true purple there you know i think it's a really beautiful shade overall i think these are some great polishes so here i'm just moving the light so you can see them in slightly different tones look at that beautiful colors next let's look at essie i think essie is a great nail polish brand they're definitely more traditional you know they're not really an indie brand or anything but um, they've got some great colors. I do still tend to prefer some of my more indie brands for um, things. However, there are definitely some favorites. Like this collection here, um, I forget what it's called, something with like rocks and minerals, but 
It's this one here's Rock Your World. Um, you know, I love the shimmers in there. This is the classic sweater weather, which when this shade came out, it sold out like pretty quickly. And then people were selling this thing on eBay for like, I forget, like $50 or something ridiculous. So I've got some really great shades here. The creams I think are okay, but I do tend to prefer actually the uh, Gucci formula over the Essie cream formula. The ballet slippers is such a classic color. It looks terrible on me, so I don't have it. This is um, called Come Out to Clay, which you can see it looks kind of like a light pink. It's a bit warmer than it looks in the glass. Let's go ahead and swatch these. We're gonna start off with this one here. This is called Bed Rock and Roll. and this is going to be kind of like um, a reddish clay kind of color. So, um, you know, it's a, a nice fall shade. Next, we have this one here, which is a bit more orange. This is called Yes, I Canyon. And uh, again, we've got kind of that clay kind of vibe. This is kind of like what wet terracotta would look like. Before your terracotta pot dries, that's kind of what, what it looks like, the wet clay. This is Rocky Rose. I have to say, this one's not very rose-like. So, um, yeah, you can see it's definitely going to be a bit more brown. This is a really nice nude. This is called Cliffhanger. You can see it, um, you know, it's a brown, but there is a little bit of a clay tone to that as well. Let's go ahead. We'll put that one right here. We do have the wide brush on this, which I like. And I think the cream formula is actually, you know, it's a nice formula. I just find that um, my Gucci lasts a bit longer before I end up with any sort of uh, chipping. So this is set in sandstone. This one's gonna be a bit peachy. And it's, a, it's like a perfect peach. I think it's a really nice light peach shade there. This one here is gonna be a bit more pink. This is Around the Bend. It still has that peachy vibe, but it's gonna be more pink. It's definitely more of a like warm pink shade. Then this one here, this is the Come Out to Clay. And this is gonna be kind of like um, a nice nude pink. So this one here, let me go ahead and put this one on. But, um, yeah, you can see these like milkier shades don't typically look that great on me. So I tend not to use them too much. Um, then moving on, this is called No Shade Here. And it's a really nice medium pink, kind of brightish. Now, I feel like in the bottle, it looks a bit cooler in tone than it does when you actually swatch it. it. It is gonna have a little bit of warmth to it. It's still gonna be a bright pink. This one here is one of my favorites. This is Into the Abliss. And it's kind of like your your uh, soft, dusty mauve. Uh, this is a color my mom had in the family room growing up, actually. Moving on to one of my favorites. This is Sweater Weather. And I mean, this is such a beautiful green. And the shimmer on this is great. Let me go ahead, I'll put this one on this hand here, but look at that. And you know, one coat is really all you need. Again, I recommend two coats, but um, you know, it's smooth. It's this beautiful kind of like, um, it's not really a true olive green. It is just kind of a nice medium green. You've got a little bit of spring green mixed in there as well. This one here, I picked this one up. This was a Hall uh, Halloween collection a couple years ago. It's called Like a Charm. And it looks like it's kind of a duochrome in here. I have to say though, it's a nice shade, but I didn't find this one to feel as smooth on the nails as Sweater Weather. Um, it is kind of like your purple, blue, teal kind of duochrome with, there's like green and silver shimmer in there. Um, but I found that one to be only okay. This one here is also from that collection. This is called Broom with a View. And this one is gonna be more blue. You've got silver and multicolor shimmer. Really beautiful shade. But again, it's just not as smooth as I would like. And this is Once in a Blue Moon. And this one has larger glitter flakes in it. Really nice bright blue. You can see that the shimmer in here is gonna be different sizes really again beautiful colors but you know I was just 
hoping for a it to be as smooth as sweater weather. This is Paybacks a Witch. And you can see it's a dark brownish gray with multicolor shimmer. I love this color. And then probably my favorite collection that I purchased from Essie is this one. This is that rock one. This one is called Stop, Look, and Glisten. And I wear these, I mean, these came out years ago, uh, but I still wear these all the time. They've got such a beautiful shimmer hollow effect. I always get compliments on these. This one is of quartz. And they're all kind of like these light, nude, natural, kind of, again, rock tone shades um, that just, they just shine so beautifully. I love these during the summer in particular. This is Rock Your World. You can see this is gonna be a bit more of a grayish shimmer. Um, a little silver, but it actually has a touch of green in there. This one here is called You're a Gem. So here's You're a Gem. You can see this is going to be a brown. There's a little bit of red in there, but it's still like a lighter brown shade. Then this one here is kind of a rosy pink. This is called Gorgeous Geodes. And this is going to be a warm pink with kind of like copper shimmer in there. And then this one here is your gold. This is called Semi Precious Tones. And... Again, it's gold, but it's not super gold. So this is actually the gold one that I wear the most. So I just love the, the shimmers in these. The Halloween ones, I love the shimmers and how they look, but they just aren't as smooth as these or the sweater weather. Sweater weather doesn't really have shimmer though. It's really more of a metallic finish, but still the rock collection definitely has shimmer and they're a bit smoother. So just moving this light so you can see the different tones. And yeah, I think overall, really pretty collection there. Next, we're moving on to Dior. Now I do have another one or two Dior nail polishes somewhere. I'm not sure where they are. We're gonna swatch these quickly because they are, um, you know, these were limited edition, so they're sold out. We have 811 Wild Wings. Now this is supposed to be like a brown duochrome. It looks really nice. Um, this one's probably, you know, it, it's nice, but you definitely need multiple layers. And I have to say the duochrome effect is just not as apparent from Dior as it is from the indie brand. So this is Early Bird. Now Dior has since changed their nail polish formula. It's about the same though, it's not that different. And this one here is, Nightbird, which was supposed to be this beautiful green gold. And it's just, it kind of just looks like this color. It doesn't really have as much of the effect. Now, this is one of the Dior um, Prestige nail polishes from Holiday a couple years ago. This one is called um, Bouton d'Or. So this is a, a topper. What is really nice about this topper is it's clear, but it's just silver and gold and um, it makes a really nice holiday topper. So overall, I think the Dior polishes are okay. I just think that they're a better formula, so I tend to not buy them too much. Next, we're gonna briefly look at Addiction nail polishes. So Addiction Tokyo is new to the US. It's a Japanese brand, and this is from, these are their holiday collection. So uh, I do have a video featuring these. You can see nail swatches of all the shades. So I'll leave that link down below, but we're just gonna briefly swatch these. So we really have uh, two different finishes here. So this first one here, these are gonna be the P finish. So this first shade here is Fiery Sky 103P, and the P stands for pearl. So this is gonna be kind of your swirly pearl finish. You can see this is an orangey red. It's a really beautiful shade. And yeah, I really like it. This one, however, is one of my favorites. This is 105P and it's called, I think it says flat circle, um, but it's a really beautiful, kind of like a, kind of like a taupe. It's a pretty perfect taupe. You can see that we have the wide brush here. Let's go ahead and put this on. And these are gonna be a little on the lighter side with one coat, so you definitely really want two coats of these, but I think they're a really beautiful formula. 
And then this one here is 106P and it's called Real Surreal. And this is kind of like a, a yellowy gold shade. You can see that this one though is gonna be a little bit more sheer than the other two. Now, these three polishes are your SP formula. So look at this one. I love the way this one looks in the bottle. It looks like there's pink with a little bit of a blue swirl. This is 108 SP, and the SP stands for sparkle. This is Pink Horizon. You can see this can be used as a topper, but you can also build this up and use it as a full color as well. It, you don't really see too much blue, though. It's really more of a slightly warm pink with blue, pink, and purple shimmer in there. This one here looks like a blue gray and you can see a little bit of pink in there. That's really coming from the shimmer. This is 107 SP and it's called Inner Universe. Oh, this one's really pretty. I like this one, but you can see when you um, use this one, it's kind of a gray with blue and green in there. So there's a little bit. And then this one here is 104 SP, My Instinct and I really like this one. Now this one is gonna be more pigmented than the Pink or, or Horizon or the Real Surreal. You can see you've got more of a stronger base. You can definitely use this one, you know, kind of on its own. Let me go ahead and just swatch a couple of these here so you can see what, how sheer you can get these sparkle ones. So you could use them as a slightly pigmented topper, but you can also build these up to be, you know, just a nail color as well. Next, we're gonna take a look at the classic OPI. I used to have a very extensive OPI collection, but I have since kind of passed those on and I have a much smaller collection. So let's start off swatching a few of these. And this one here is called Peruby Ruby. And it's just a really pretty, um, you know, you might think it's like super red hearing Ruby, but it's actually gonna be more pink. You can see it's a really nice pink shade here. And this has more of a metallic swirl. There's really not too much shimmer in there. Then we have this one here. I mean, look at this. This one looks really pretty in the sun. This is Rainbows in Your Fuchsia. And I feel like this was one of their like earlier attempts <laughs> to do a, a duochrome, but it just didn't really work out so well. So. You can see in the bottle, you can see a little bit of pink and blue shift to it, but it doesn't really have much of a duochrome effect. This one here is part of that same collection. This is Feeling Optiprismic. And this one was a little more successful with that, but again, these here, you know, you don't see much of a duochrome effect. They're very light and sheer. And we'll have to add another coat to that. Let's see if we can do it real quickly kind of pile that up and they do give a nice light reflection but you don't really see much of a color shift from that collection this is prismatic fanatic and this is my favorite of those because of the color but again it's going to look pretty much blue uh, you don't really see much of a color shift now another classic shade this is dating a royal and this is just a really nice blue just a nice medium blue. And it's gonna be deeper than the Gucci um, blue. And it's just a nice medium shade. This is OPI Ink. And I used to have this in, they have like, different versions of it, like the matte version and so forth. I did pass on my um, matte versions of these. They were okay, but if you're looking for a matte nail polish, I really like the mattes from Mooncat. They don't have very many, but they do have a matte topper you can use, which I just purchased, so I haven't tried that yet. But um, it's supposed to make your nail polishes matte. This one here is Russian Navy. This is a classic. I used to wear this one on my toes all the time. And then this is my private jet. I really like this because you have that rich brown and can see that the shimmer in here has a little green, some gold, some silver. It's a really pretty shade. You really only notice more of the brown and the silver shimmer, but really beautiful. So this here you can see we've got a wide brush. One sheer layer goes on very nicely and then you can easily build these up. Performance is good on OPI. I do like them. The reason I actually switched my collection um, when I had a more extensive collection was because of the 
ingredients. You know, it was back when I was still, you know, having kids and stuff. And I was really cautious about, you know, what was included in the nail polish at the time. So, um, yeah, I ended up passing those on to family members. But this is the um, Feeling Optoprismic shade. So you can see you do get a nice reflection here. Let me just show you a, another layer. But if you're looking for any sort of, you know, true color shift, I would go with something like ILMP or Mooncat, Serac Colors, you know, one of the indie brands over OPI or SE. Next up, we have London Town. So London Town's the name of the brand. You can see we've got a few different things. We have Curve, but these are the perfecting nail veils. Think of this more like a jelly nail polish. It's very sheer layer, gives you just a tint of color. And then we have the lacquers. I also use um, their Get Well Nail Recovery and so forth. So they've got some treatment products. Let's go ahead and swatch these. And we're gonna start off with the Perfecting Nail Veils. Now, this one is my favorite. It is gonna give you a bit more color. Um, this is number eight. And you can see it looks red in here, but it's really just this beautiful, like reddish pink, um, you know, jelly finish. And then this is number seven. I also have the white one, um, but I actually, I keep that one in my bathroom on my uh, sink there, but this is gonna be a very pale light pink. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like on here. So this is, in my opinion, a great alternative to something like the SAE um, ballet slippers. I, mean, I don't know, I really like these. And then here we've got the, let's do number eight here. You can see how sheer that is. So it's just gonna be a nice sheer color. And then I have the Illuminating Nail Concealer. This really isn't going to give you much. You can see um, the spots here as it just going through the, the paper. But here, I'll show you this on the nails too. You can see, just gives you, look at the difference. Gives you a little bit of whiteness to it, but not too much and just a nice sheen. Now, lacquers, this one here is my favorite. This is Teeny Kini, uh, so Teeny Bikini, essentially. And you can see it is a nice, uh, kind of like a raspberry pink, you know, mixed with a little bit of blackberry. And then this one here is Flushed Cheeks. This is gonna be a nice medium warm pink. And you can see that definitely has a little bit of warmth to it. This orange one here, this is called Heat Wave. This is a really nice, I think Mandarin orange slash toasted pumpkin. I think that's a really pretty shade. I like this one a lot during the summer or the fall. This is Tipsy Mermaid. This is another really pretty shade. And I know I have some more London Town polishes somewhere. I'm not sure where exactly I put those. But um, you know, this green is such a nice bright spring green. This one, however, is the one that I use the most. This is Vibe, and this is like your perfect forest green. So they do have some polishes with shimmers. The ones that I have from them are all gonna be your traditional creams, and I think they are such a great classic formula, and they've got beautiful colors. So these and the Flora 1761, those are my favorite for your traditional cream nail polishes. Next, we're moving on to Chanel. So La Base, Camellia, this is a really nice nail polish base. So I just wanted to mention that I do like that. I also have the La Gel Coat. And um, I think that that's okay. Uh, you know, it's a nice product, but I actually don't use it too much. I just realized I cracked my lid. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to the nail polishes. So I've got some of the new formula versus the old formula. Uh, you know, they're pretty close. I would say they're pretty comparable. I do find that, you know, the older one, um, certain shades in the new formula last really well and others maybe not quite as well. So, you know, it, it, it's really more shade dependent. This is Rouge Noir. So this is your classic shade. And you can see we have the skinny brush here. And this is like a, you know, it's a deepened blackberry, like crushed blackberry. And then let's actually compare that to this one, 907 Rouge Brun. And you can see that this has a bit more plum purple in there. There's a little brown in there as well. And then 
this shade here is like a deep purple. This is number 141, Oiseau de Nuit. I'm terrible with that pronunciation, but I believe that means something like bird of the night. And I love this shade. So this is going to be like a deeper purple, but you can see you have a little bit of brightness to it. You have a little bit of blackberry mixed into that. <clears throat> this shade here is 139 Activist. And let me put this one right up here so you can see those together. And you can see this is gonna be a little brighter, a little lighter, really nice, you know, magenta shade here. Now looking at the purples, this one here is 931 Moonshell. And it's a really nice lavender. You can see here we are working with the traditional you know, thin, skinny brush. And then we have a couple of the, um, a couple more lavenders. This one here is 921 Evanescence. And this one has more pink in it. It looks more purple in the container than it actually is. It's really gonna be more of just a really soft, light pink shade. This purple here, this is 135 Immortel, and this is the new version. So this here was the old, that's the new, and I have to say I really love this lavender. This is one of my favorite lavenders. Really pretty shade. This light blue here is 125 Muse. This is also in our new formula. And I feel like they're light colors, you know, they just seem to have a little bit more pigmentation with one layer than they did previously. Let me go ahead and put this one on my nail here so you can see, and you can see that we now have, oh, that's on top of the nail concealer, my mistake. <laughs> but you can see that we now have um, the wide brush on the newer one, which I personally really like. So I find that really easy to use. Longevity is good. It's a nice, solid nail polish. Let's move on to the deep blue. This is 127. And I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that right now, but this is just a really nice, you know, kind of navy blue that blends out a little bit of a bright cobalt. And I think that's a gorgeous shade. This is another classic Chanel. This is Arancio Vibrante. So this is number 634. And this is in the older version. It's just a nice fiery, you know, orangey red. And it's a great summer shade. And this is another one of the new ones. This is 157 Phoenix. And this shade looks great on so many people, but Honestly, on my complexion, it doesn't doesn't work that well for me. Um, it's a little bit too warm, but it's a really nice warm gold, and it has a lot of shimmer. This is 935 CC Green, and it's just a nice light mint, minty green. I think that's a really pretty shade as well, but it also doesn't show up super, super well. You can see this was a... Um, limited edition shade a few years ago, but they do have a new version of it in the new nail polish collection. I didn't pick that one up. And then just a few more to look at. We have these two whites. So you can see that they look pretty similar. This one looks a little bit more ivory. This is 927 Blanc Ecume. And this one here is 101 Insomniac. So I believe this brighter one is the newer one, but let me go ahead and show these to you. And they go on nicely, they're nice whites, but I do feel like I need more layers of this for coverage than the Gucci white. So I do prefer the Gucci white over this. However, this newer one, Insomniac, I do think is a bit smoother than the Blanc Ecume. Now, last two here, these were both limited edition. This is 905 Brun Fume. That's just a nice, rich brown with a touch of gray. It's got a little bit of that mousy vibe to it. And this one is one of my favorites. I wish they would bring this one back. It is 909 Beige Sandra. So you've got this ashy brown and that is gonna be a lighter, true mouse gray. And let's just move that there. And let's take a look at the swatches with the light. 
So overall, it's a nice classic nail polish formula, performs well, and uh, yeah, I like it. Now, the only reason I really prefer the Indies, you know, I do find some of them do tend to last longer before chipping. We have more exciting colors, and honestly, for the price point, you can get something equivalent from London Town or Floor uh, 1761. Uh, they're very similar formulas for the cream versions, you know, and they, ha they have a lot of the classic colors. All right, so next we're taking a look at their colors. Now, some of the shades are magnetic, and this is what their magnet looks like. Now, if you are working with one of the magnetic colors, this one here is Mobius. This is one of my favorite shades, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply this you can see we do have the thinner brush they i believe i have to double check but i think this is a brand that has a um thicker brush now a wider brush but you have to purchase it separately and so you just hold the magnet over there and you can see it i'm starting to get kind of that like um that line there where it all gathers so you would want to do this you know in layers build up this color first. But for the sake of time, I'm just gonna show you this briefly. And you wanna hold this here until it dries. You want to put it again over the top coat. They have a little video and directions on their website, but you can see how that, that looks. So for magnetics, I really like the Cerec Colors magnetics. I think they are really nice. You can hold this in different areas to get different effects and so forth. This is my favorite effect. And of course, I just stuck my, my thumb in it. <laughs> but let's go ahead and swatch a few. Well, let's, might as well start off with Mobius then since uh, we just used that. But you can see it is a really pretty, um, it has green, blue, and purple. You can see that our magnetic effect here is gonna be more blue. And then some of the other ones that I really like. Uh, from the same collection here, this is Paradox. And this is gonna be your like pink, purple, and um, there's a little bit of red in here as well. So really pretty shade here. Um, go ahead and put that on too, just so we can kind of look at this one. But this is a really pretty one. And you can see that our shift here is gonna be more blue. So I really like that one. And we have a few others. This one is Soda Shop. This is gonna be a pale mint green. This is also uh, magnetic. It doesn't have as strong of an effect as these. You can see that these are gonna be like duochrome shades and you don't have to use the magnet. You can just use them as duochromes. And if you, um, you know, because of that, you're gonna have a stronger color effect because they are duochromatic. This shade here, another magnetic shade, this is called Kinetic, and this is gonna be a bit of a strawberry slash raspberry shade together. This one here is Helter Skelter, and I think this shade is just beautiful on its own. It's got gray, and it's mostly gray, but you've got like gray and blue and lavender in here. And it kind of looks like a steel gray, but it's beautiful just on its own. One of my all-time favorite nail polish colors of all, though, is this. This was limited edition from Cirque, and I've seen them bring it back once before. It is called Moonstone, and you do want to apply this in layers. So, I mean, we'll, um, you know, obviously not letting this dry <laughs> right now, but... I'll add another layer to this one in a second. Let me just go ahead and swatch this here. But you can see it has a sheer formula and it has like blue and green. Look at the, the brush color itself. You can see that in there. And then you have this beautiful like hollow color. So it really does kind of look like a marble or a moonstone uh, when you have that on. So this is one of my all time favorite shades. I absolutely love that color. Another really great, color here is this purple. This is called Luna. And I just think it's a really nice purple shade here. Just kind of a classic. Now, there were three that were part of like a Skittles, I think it was Skittles collection a few years back. This is one of those three. And these have awesome rainbow hollows. So this one is Groovy Grape. 
We also have this pink one in here called Frosted Cherry. And here, let's put this on this nail here. And just the, the hollow effect in here, like during the summer with the bright sunshine, it's just stunning. So really love that. And then the third one in that collection is Tropical Twist. So I would highly recommend any or all of these three if you see these come back. I think they are just really gorgeous. This one here is another magnetic. It's called Aperol Spritz. And this is gonna be like a peachy, um, peachy brown. So kind of a little bit of a nude. We also have um, Groove Thing here. And you can see that this one has a little bit of a color shift. We've got green, but we also have some copper and you know, the shimmer in here is gonna be a bit more red. So that's a nice shade. So I keep bumping into this camera here. Um, along with, uh, this one here is Velvet Rope. I was thinking maybe this came out with Moonstone, I can't remember. But this is kind of like your pink version of it. However, I have to say I prefer the Moonstone, Moonstone. Um, so this is really pretty. You got pink, you've got more of like a gold coppery shimmer. This is Firecracker. This is a shade, I think they've come out with this twice as well for like Lunar New Year, but it's just a really nice bright red. You have some golden shimmer in there, but it's not as evident as it is in the bottle. This shade here says chic. It, you can tell by the fact that the cap is a mess and this one's like impossible to open, that this is one of my daughter's favorites. Um, this is gonna take me a second. All right, so here we go. This is gonna be like a jelly finish, so pretty sheer. And it's light pink. It has some silver and blue shimmer in there. Really pretty color. You can see I totally uh, smeared the nails. This is Night Fever. This is a really gorgeous duochrome. I can't remember, but I think this one might be magnetic too. Um, you know, if you're ever not sure, you can always add your magnet to the outside of the bottle and kind of see if things move towards it. And honestly, I feel like it kind of did, but I feel like there was a line there. Hard to tell. Um, moving on, this is Heart of Glass. This is probably the closest to the Moonstone shade in, I believe this is permanent, but you can see it's gonna be a brighter blue and this has like pink shimmer in it. Okay, and this is Dream Within a Dream. This is another magnetic. This one is gonna be, um, you know, purple with pink and green. We have, this is a nice brown. This is Eye of the Beholder, another magnetic shade here. Um, but, you know, the magnetics, I often wear them without using the magnet, uh, you know, because that takes time. So I don't always have time for that. This is Elixir of Everlasting Life. Look at the shimmer in that. So this is green and blue. It's basically, um more of a blue base. Uh, actually, I guess it looks more green, a teal green base. You've got emerald green shimmer in there, but you do have this blue reflect in it as well. Then this is fizzy, lif fizzy lifting drink. And I put the M on there for magnetic. And I don't always remember to label them. I wish they would label them. You know, I feel like, company should label whether or not they're magnetic uh, right off the bat. So I don't always have to like guess or remember to do it on my own. Mood Ring, this is one of my favorites. This is your green and blue magnetic. And you can see that one was a little stuck. Look at that shade. I always get compliments on this one. This is such a beautiful color. And then this is Cannabis. So just a nice shimmery green. I was trying to see if it was gonna be similar to the Essie Sweater Weather because I'm always looking for something similar to that, um, but no, it's not. <laughs> this definitely has more yellow and it's lighter. This is True Love's First Kiss. This is from their, one of their new collections. Um, it's their fairy tale collection. So that one, this is La Dolce Vita. 
again, a magnetic here. And you can see this is gonna be a slightly deeper pink. We have this yellowy gold. This is sparkling yuzu. It's kind of more of a chartreuse shade. And again, this is going to have magnetic properties to it. One thing I do want to mention, this is their Phantom Glow. This is one of the glow in the dark shades. I bought this for Halloween. It doesn't work very well. It's supposed to be clear and it is, um, and you can put it over, but honestly the glowing part just, it doesn't really activate very well. I mean, so I've tried layering it on so many times. Um, my mom has one as well. She couldn't really get it to work either. So, uh, it's just not great. Hopefully this one's from like two years ago. So maybe they have improved it. This here is called far North and I just think it's a gorgeous white shimmery shade. I believe this one came out to support the polar bears. Now the last ones I'm going to show you are, is from this neon collection. This is sky high and let me just move the camera a little bit. So we've got a little more space. So just a really nice, bright, vibrant blue. We have the neon green, which is called Cushy with a K and super bright. These I actually bought, my daughter was having a birthday party. It was like, um, it was at a dance place and they did like black light and everything. This is Electric Daisy. So we all paint it, everybody paint their nails in the neon colors and so forth. And, you know, got to see them in, in the black light and they were pretty cool. So these were really nice for that. This one's Pyro and this is your bright electric orange. And these are, I mean, they're just so much fun during the summertime as well. Just have two more. We have Guilty Pleasure here. And then we have Pink, which is Socialite. So... Yeah, this, I mean, I like this pink because there's a touch of purple in there, but overall, really nice colors. The Cirque Colors nail polishes are some of my favorite. And again, if you're looking for magnetics, they are my favorite magnetics. Next, one of my absolute favorites is Mooncat. Now, Mooncat, oh, I can't remember what their old name used to be, but they rebranded a couple of years ago, and I like the new one. The older ones, I didn't, I actually got rid of all of my old polishes from them. I did not like them as much. These, I think, perform much better, and we've got a few different, you know, formulas and finishes. We'll talk about those. So I want to start off with this one, which is one of my favorites. This is called Alien Invasion. And what I really like about a lot of the Mooncat polishes is, first of all, they do have the wide brush, but you put it on and it's a very sheer layer, very light. And with these, you probably want to do two to three layers. I often do three. And as you build it, you see more and more color dimension in here. I mean... It, not only does it get more opaque, but you also see more like color shift and so forth. Now, the texture of these, I feel they're very, very smooth. They almost have like a vinyl texture to them. It feels a little differently going on to me. It feels a bit smoother. Now, that's not true for all of the Mooncap polishes, you know, but I feel like any of the ones that are more this like metallic duochrome color shift, they have that kind of texture. Some of them, you know, you have more um, standard finishes here. And let me show you like a shimmer here. This is Super Villain. Let's look at this one here. And you can see this one here is a topper, but you can pile it up and really get, you know, a lot of color. This one is awesome on top of a black base. I really like it that way. But if we're looking at like a traditional like shimmer, this is one of their classics, um, one of their best sellers. It's called Fake Halo. And it has, again, a very, very smooth texture to it. This one actually does still have kind of that vinyl texture to it. Um, I just, I love the way they feel. You've got a little bit of rainbow hollow. This is such a great kind of like nude neutral shade. Let's see here. 
So this is Reclaim the Flame. So I feel like the majority of the shadows, your actual base is gonna have that kind of like texture to it that's just so smooth. It goes on so nicely. But some of the ones with uh, more like glitter and stuff, you know, they feel just a little bit more traditional. So um, yeah, but overall the base formula that they use is probably my favorite base formula. So. I just love the texture of those. And let me just adjust a lamp to kind of, let's see here, maybe that helps a little bit away from, mm, well, we'll see. Again, I'm trying to do this in natural light today because I hope you can see a bit more of the shimmer a bit better. Now let's go ahead and swatch all of these. So this is the one I just put on, Reclaim the Flame. So let's go ahead and we'll start with that. And you can see it is a nice kind of, um, you know, kind of a brighter, uh, you know, like a soft burgundy slash strawberry pink with a brighter pink shimmer to it. So there's that one. This is a muck, a muck, a muck. So this is from not this past Halloween, but the one before that they had a, um, collection with oh, what was the Halloween movie I'm trying to think of you know with the, the witches I I can't even think of it <laughs> um but I know somebody will tell me uh this is Venus flytrap this is gonna be a bit more pink you can see that mucka mucka muck has a little bit more purple and it has purple shimmer in there too um another favorite shade here this is shattered glass and this is one of their best sellers you can see you've got some purple, blue, a little bit of gray in there. And it's just such a beautiful shade. This is definitely, I can see why it's a bestseller. It's really, really beautiful. This one is called Not Today Satan. And I think that's also on their bestseller list, but it's a really nice pink with a multicolor shimmer or hollow in there, but you have like a little bit extra like pink shimmer in there. And then this is Heart of Stone. Look at that. So you can see we've got more of that pink base, but our glitter in this one, um, we've got a bit more green in there. So you're gonna get a little bit of that green reflect in there. And this um, shade itself is a little bit of a dustier rose. This one here, this is one that we swatched on my nails. It's the topper, the super villain shade. And you, what I like about this topper is, I mean, look at that. Um, compared to the ILMP toppers, this one's a lot more concentrated. So you can totally use it on its own or you know, on top. So let's add another layer here to the nails here. But you can see, you know, putting this on a black base looks awesome. You know, it's such an, a, an incredible shade. So um, this would be my favorite topper that I own from any of the brands. This is a relatively newish one. This is called Stumped. I really like this one. We have kind of this brown jelly base with green and gold flakies. And I just think that's a really beautiful color. You can see that there. This one here is Spawn of Medusa. I mean, Look at that shade. Oh, I mean, yeah, I, it's hard for me to nail down exactly one brand that is a total favorite. Um, but if I had to pick just one, it's probably Mooncat right now. You know, they are probably my favorite. You can see we've got a little bit of a translucent base to that with some green and some brown, but then all of that shimmer in there, we've got green and gold and brown and so forth. This is another one of my favorites. This is the Alien Invasion. So we've got that one here on the nails. I actually just wore this one um, last week. This is Snake Charmer. This is another gorgeous shade here. This one's gonna be more uh, teal. And I mean, you can't go wrong with, with these in my opinion. This one is Blame My Star Sign. Look at that. Look at all of that rainbow shimmer in there. And we're on top of like a gray base with a bit of purple in there. 
So it's kind of like this dusty shade. Let's see here. You can see those so far. Really pretty. This is uh, Siren's Deceit. You can see we have like blue with a bit of a pink reflect and some silver shimmer here. So this is one that you wanna build up, but when you build that up on the nails, it's really, it's a really beautiful um, shade. Gosh, I've been saying that a lot. <laughs> what is my purpose? And I always wanna say, what is my porpoise? <laughs> but um, I don't know why, I just always feel like, I think I had a nail polish like with that name, but this is a really pretty magenta. There's a little bit of purple in there, but it's a nice magenta. Galactic here, this is another one that I, um, I like a lot here. We've got a pinky purple here. You can see that the shimmer in this is gonna be red and fuchsia. This is going to be Dream Within a Dream. And we had that same name in Cert Color. So that name is uh, same name, but this is gonna be a bright violet with pink shimmer. It's a gorgeous shade. Um, this one here, this is sealed with a hiss. And um, another one that I absolutely love here. This is one that my daughter loves, so it makes it a little messy. I've actually thought about getting her, well, getting myself a new one and getting her this one because it's getting so hard to open. But this is one that we use a lot. So you can see, you know, we've actually used up to, to here on the bottle. Um, you can see where that air bubble is. So a few more, actually quite a few more. This one is Serpent's Tongue. And this is a really nice pink. Uh, this one, the shimmer in here, we've got a little bit of an aqua reflect from the shimmer that's in this particular shade. This is a really light pink with another, um, you know, aqua shimmer. And this is called High Fructose. And you can see how much green shimmer you have in this. Let me just see if I can show you that a little bit more. Uh, I don't think the camera is picking it up, but it's, I mean, green and gold shimmer galore. So you are getting, um, you know, anytime you move your fingers, you know what, let's just put that one on so we can see that. But it is such a pretty shade. I mean, do you see that reflect there? And that's just like one layer. So when you build this up, you know, you see pink and green and gold. It's such a pretty shade. This one, you know, in my opinion, it's like a must have. This is called Robotica. And it's just a really nice, more like metallic pink. This one is Gates of Hell. And that ILNP Eclipse shade, that was kind of like the first one, kind of like that. And I feel like this is a little similar to that, but it doesn't have as much of a reflect as the Eclipse shade. The Eclipse is still, you know, my favorite for that. This is gonna be a deep purple. This is Raven and really pretty. Um, you know, it's like a really deep purple with a black base and we have a ton of red and purple shimmer in there. This is Millennia. Now Millennia, I wear this, you know, just on its own, but if you put this one on top of a black base, it's also like, this is incredible on a black base. And yeah, that would totally be worth it. Now we've got Utopia. Again, we've seen the name Utopia in other polish brands, but the Mooncat Utopia, you can see we have a bit more blue. ILMP also has a Utopia that's more of a lavender shade. This is Fallen Angels. You can see that we're gonna have like a purpley blue with some pink shimmer. All right, so here's that one. And there's a bit of a gray base there. So this one is gonna be a bit more, you know, it's a little bit lighter. This is a flaky one. This is Pomegranate Seeds. And really, um, you know, you've got kind of your pinkish purple base with some gold and pink flakies in there. This blue one is Mercury's Tears. This is another bestseller. You can see you've got that bright blue, you've got some like teal and aqua in there and you have some gold and silver and this is gorgeous. So 
that Sarah Colors Mood Stone that I love so much. This doesn't have the same reflect as it, but this is the closest dupe for that, in my opinion. So uh, really pretty shade. Uh, we'll come back to that one in a second. And then House of Hades. Wow, this is a recent favorite. So um, this is a bright blue, you know, a cobalt blue. You got this shimmer here. It is incredible on the nails. I wore this one quite a bit during the fall. And we have Electric Sheep. This is kind of like a grayish lavender. And I think that's a really pretty shade too. This one doesn't have too much like shimmer or anything. It's more a metallic vibe. This teal, this is called River Styx. Uh, this is a really pretty teal shade here. Look at that. Um, you know, this one, you know, more of a classic formula for this. This is Mermaid Bait. This is stunning. So this came out with the high fructose shade and hard to say which one I like more. Uh, they are both incredible. So again, the high fructose is this one that's the pink and the green and the gold. Well, this one has blue and then pink and green and gold as well. It is just a stunning shade. We also have, this is Millennia. My mistake, we already did Millennia. And then we have Encrypt It here. And this is a really nice green, um, but it's like a dusky green. There's some gray in there. Really pretty, you know, kind of classic shade. This is Deep Space. This is gonna be a duochrome shade here. And it doesn't show up as well there. Mm -hmm. I'll put it on top of Fake Halo here. Just kind of, just so you can see that color better on a nail. But you can see the color shift. It's got some purple, some blue, um, gray. I have to say though, I still think that ILMP is the one that does the best with um, duochromes that don't have hollow. This is Cruel Mirage, and this is gonna be like gray um, and black, and you've got like a rainbow hollow in there. Then we have, this one is Anti-Fragile. Uh, this is another classic shade. And it's a really pretty, you know, this is like your classic purple. And it's got some silver shimmer in there. This is going to be Ocean Lies. You can see that we've got more of a soft aqua shade with some green and gold in here. And even a little bit of a pink reflect. And you can compare that to mermaid bait. You can see that this one has a bit more blue. This is more aqua. It does not have as much shimmer. So it also does not have as much of a color shift in it either. So warp zone, this is a really nice kind of more olive green and more classic. All right, we're gonna shift down here. This is pandemonium. And this is a really nice, you know, reddish orange shade here. And you can see how shimmery that is. This is, is such a pretty vibrant color. This is gonna be a stolen ambrosia and it's got a bit more of a uh, coral vibe to it. Look at that, really pretty. Gosh, they have so many great shades. This brown is called Boa Constrictor. And I don't know if any of you guys ever read the book um, that like Jimmy's, it's about Jimmy's boa constrictor and they go on a field trip and um, here's the fake halo that we swatched and I just swatched over. Um, but <laughs> that was always one of my favorite children's books when I was growing up. So of course I had to get a copy for the kids. This is Kelp Kingdom. This is one of the, I love this shade. This, if you're looking for like kind of an olive green with some brown, and uh, this is close to the ILMP Treehouse. So those are fairly similar. This shade here is Ghost of um, Hecate. I never pronounce it right, so I'm probably saying it wrong. But this is gonna have, it's like white with this really pretty like blue pink reflect. It is stunning on the nails, so pretty. 
I do have this one here, which is Access Denied. It almost looks black in the bottle, but it's a really deep, deep green. And you can see it almost looks black, but it's gonna have some green and teal shimmer. Now I wanted to mention this, this is Room Work. Stunning in the bottle, right? But this is actually gonna be a matte shade. Let me go ahead and put this one on my nail so you can see it dry. And I really like their mattes here. So this one here, Sabertooth, is also a matte. This is gonna be a pale blue and there's a little bit of color shift here too. And let's put this one on right here. So you have a little bit of a pink reflect in this one, Sabertooth. So I think those are some really great shades. And as I mentioned, they also make this, which I haven't tried yet, but it is matte made in hell. So this is a topper that you should be able to make your nail polishes matte with. So I'm gonna, you can see that this is drying already. And what I love about the matte finish on here is it lasts really well. I have found that a lot of mattes kind of um, don't perform as well, but it's also very smooth. Of course you have the dry texture, but it's pretty smooth and um, yeah, the performance is just great. So yeah, those are my favorite mattes. And they have some other shades too. Um, I think the, the Dream Within a Dream, that is also a matte, this purple one here. So yeah, those are my Mooncat polishes. I have to say, I really love them. And I have their newest collection on the way. And I have one more that I forgot. This one here is Anti-Venom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let's just put this one right here. This is just kind of, one of those super sparkly uh, holographic ones you can use more as a topper. Really pretty. And actually I found two others. This one here is Selene. And you can see that's kind of your dusty navy with rainbow hollow. And then this one here kind of looks a little bit like fake halo, but less peachy. This is Devil's Oasis. And we'll put that one right there. And you can see there's definitely more brown in there. It's gonna be a bit more pigmented. And I see a shadow there. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that, that's it then for our moon And then I also have a ton of Zoya nail polishes too. Most of mine are older, so I don't even know if they still have the, the shades. Um, but I'm going to just highlight a few instead of swatching all of these and just let me know if you need to see more. So I'm gonna just highlight my favorites. All right, so I still have quite a few favorites. This one here is Cecilia, which is a really nice, you know, teal shade. And you can see that that is going to be, you know, just a nice balance of blue and green. This is one of my absolute favorites. Um, Charla, you know, you've got this turquoise with tons and tons of sparkle. This looks fantastic on the toes, particularly in the summer. One that is similar is Ivanka. So love this. This is like your green version of it. And that is stunning. Then we have Mimi, which is a purple. And again, these all have kind of lots and lots of shimmer. So really like the way that these look on the nails. Carly is going to be more of your pink. I mean, look at that. Those were like just my favorite colors growing up. You know, when you buy like floss for friendship bracelets, this is Peyton. This one has more of a rainbow hollow in here. It's got a little bit more of a purple base, uh, but those were the colors that I always purchased. This is India, which I feel like is cool because you have, it's kind of like a muted burgundy um, with a bit of gold shimmer in there. And there's a little bit of red shimmer as well. Oh, I wanna bring up this one. This is a brown. This is called Sedona. Yep. And this is just such a nice rich brown with burgundy in it. You can see it actually has a little bit of a plum uh, touch to it. And this here is Tasha, which is gonna be more of a golden brown and look at the shimmer in that. I really like this one in the fall. Then we have this, which is Aurora. I mean, look at this magenta with rainbow hollow in here, really pretty. You can see I definitely have 
a type. And then this is Finley. And you've got your great purple with your rainbow hollow. This is Isa, which is like a blue purple. This is another one that I have worn a ton for years. That's one that I really love. This one here is Nisha, which is gonna be a bit more purple than that. Um, but you can see it's got a little bit more like eggplant in it. For a bright blue, this is called Song. And this is a really pretty, bright blue and there is a little bit of blue shimmer in that one of my all-time favorites is saint and this one has a little bit of a pink reflect when you build this one up then we have the um this one here blue sparkle this is dream and yeah i really love this one look at that beautiful bright blue with the rainbow shimmer here. Another cream version, this is Talia. And this one's gonna have more blue than the first one we looked at. And this one here, it is, this is Hazel. This is kind of like bluish, grayish aqua with like gray and green sparkle. So that's a favorite. This is Andrea or Andrea, and this is gonna be more purple. You do have some shimmer, but um, you know, it's got more of a metallic vibe to it. This light lavender one here, this is Hudson, and just a really beautiful, softer purple. A few more here, we have Regina, which is a nice green. Let's go ahead, we'll just go over here. This has gonna uh, more of a gray base. And then I wanted to highlight some reds. So this is my favorite red nail polish. I wear this like for the holidays, like pretty much every year. This is called Sarah. And it's just like the perfect red with red shimmer. That's my favorite. But some other really nice ones from Zoya here, we have Ela, And this one doesn't have the shimmer. It has a little bit more burgundy in it. It has a little bit of shimmer, but definitely not, not very noticeable. And then Rashida is this one. This one's gonna be a bit warmer and it's also a little bit lighter. So you can see a little bit more pink in there, but those are gonna be my favorite of the Zoya polishes. <laughs> so many great shades. All right, so it's taken two full days of filming. The sun is setting, but here are the ILMP swatches. So you can kind of see those. I'm trying to get the last patch of light that is here. And I do have some photos as well. We also have these, so ILMP at the top. Then the floor 1761, KB Shimmer, Gucci, and Starly Nails. Then from there we have the Hollow Taco. And we have Essie and some of my Dior. Then we have the Addiction Tokyo, the OPI, London Town, and Chanel. And here is Mooncat. Then we have Silk Colors. And this is Zoya. So although I didn't do swatch all of them, they're all here on this paper. And yeah, so, so I highlight favorites throughout the video, but I'd have to say overall, my favorite brand would be Mooncat. It has a very smooth finish. I love how buildable everything is and performance is fantastic. Their colors is best, in my opinion, for magnetics. They've got some nice dual chromes as well. Um, but yeah, I think Mooncat and ILMP dual chromes are great. The Starly, really nice classic shimmers, really like those. KB Shimmer I thought was a little bit too thick. ILMP is there in the top row there, and I feel like the ILMP, their multi-chromes are the best. 
they've got some great shimmers as well some great uh, vibrant shades Zoya is just a great kind of a clean nail polish and um, you know I think they're just classic they've got some great prices for solid creams for 1761 and Gucci are great as well as Zoya and London Town which are over here Chanel is also you know very classic but I do tend to prefer the uh, you know, more indie brands. So I hope this was helpful and good luck.